Hi, welcome back to Mrs. Jager's Book Nook. Today we're going to read this book, Mixed, A Colorful Story. It's about these three different colors, red, yellow, and blue, and how they find harmony. In the beginning, there were three colors, yellows, reds, and blues. Reds were the loudest, la, 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 la. Yellows were the brightest. And the blues were the coolest. Everyone lived in color harmony. See how they're all living together? Until one afternoon when a red said, Reds are the best. Oh, look at the blues and the yellows over here. How do you think that made them feel? The yellows disagreed. No, we're the best because we're the brightest. The blues were too cool to even respond. Look at all their faces. I don't think they're feeling very harmonious anymore. The colors decided to live in separate parts of the city. Oh, look, they're no longer living together. It says Redville, Blue Town, Yellow Heights. Look, they can no longer hang out with their friends. That's really sad. But then one day, a yellow noticed a blue, and he's very sad. And something happened. Oh, look, he's not sad anymore. He's saying, I feel so happy when I'm near you. And here's the yellow. And I can feel so calm when I'm with you. Aww. Yellow and blue became inseparable. That means they were always together. Life felt so vibrant. But not all the colors were very happy about it. I don't like yellow's effect on blue. Colors shouldn't mix. That blue isn't bright enough for yellow. They don't seem like they have very nice opinions. But yellow and blue loved each other so much that they decided to mix. <gasps> Look, they got married. Together, they created a new color. They named her green. Because when you mix blue and yellow together, it makes the color green. Green was bright like yellow, but calm like blue. But really, she was a color all her own. Everyone was fascinated. Oh, she's so cute. I've never seen anything like her before. Even the grumpy colors fell in love with red. Can I hold her? The colors began to see new possibilities. Soon other colors mixed. Red and yellow make orange. And mixed blue and purple make, or I'm sorry, blue and red make purple. This is a red purple and that's a blue purple. More, a little more red or a little more blue, but they both make purple and mix. Now orange and green got together and they made two lighter color greens. And these purple and orange got together and made different variations of a purpley orange color and mixed. Look, now this is a whole family and look, they're all a little bit different, but look at how happy they are. They were so many new colors and a lot of new names. Be careful, Jade. There's Jade. Don't forget your glasses, Lavender. There's Lavender. There's her glasses. <laughs> Have fun, Amber. There's Amber. I wonder what that guy's name is. He looks like my favorite color, teal. Ooh, look at how colorful their town is now. Does it look like they're separated anymore? I don't think so. The old neighborhoods of Redville, Blue Town, and Yellow Heights didn't make sense anymore. Everyone wanted to live together, so they rebuilt the city. See, they're taking down the signs. 
There's a big cement truck. And over here, they're at a little playground called Mixed. Oh, look how beautiful that is, you guys. The new city was full of color. It wasn't perfect, but it was home. They have a little ice cream shop called Sprinkles. And this one's called Dots, because <laughs> they look like dots. Wow, that's so neat. <gasps> oh my goodness, look at all that color. I like that last phrase. It wasn't perfect, but it was home. So we as people, we're not perfect, but we need to make sure that we're getting all mixed up together and enjoying other people's company and understanding that when we have disagreements or arguments, we need to work it out and talk because when we get together and we're friends with one another, it brings out the best in us as long as we are assuming our positive intentions towards one another. So I hope you enjoyed this book here on Mrs. Jager's Book Nook, and I'll see you guys next time.